Well, with the sun already setting, looking for a very nice evening, clear skies, already starting to get some 60s for everybody. 65 here in downtown San Angelo. Lower 60s already out towards Sterling at 63. Same for Big Lake. So it's going to start to cool from west to east because still Menard at 70. 72 Junction, 68 Mason. So a little bit of that warm pocket. They got it to the upper 70s for today because that front did stall out that came through. It stalled out pretty much cutting the entire state in half. So some of us saw very cool temperatures and some still saw 80s. Here in downtown and in the rest of the Contra Valley, we saw mid 70s, 75. We had a warm start, 58, staying above average for both our highs and lows. We're going to slowly see that pattern continue for the next couple of days. So, still seeing that cut of the, pretty much the entire state. So, 77 out towards Houston, there's all that warm temperatures. That front still moving east and moving pretty slow. Overnight lows are going to be getting down to the low 40s. 42, we could see one or two of the northern counties get to the upper 30s, and then it's going to warm back up. We're going to get our winds back in from the south, southwest, get to 76 tomorrow. Some more upper 70s coming through with plenty of sunshine leading into some 80s are going to be coming back for our Thursday. So plenty of warm air, no big push or change coming in both at the surface or in the upper atmosphere. We start to kind of watch a little bit of some cooler air in the north start to kind of make its way down but what we're watching for friday and saturday is the uplift that we're getting from the upper atmosphere so allowing some of that moisture that we are going to be having friday and saturday with temperatures in the upper 70s getting enough uplift to happen mostly saturday very early in the mornings when this is going to push through and are going to have plenty of warm temperatures behind it. So it's not a cold front, but it is a front allowing some rain chances, not any cool temperatures to come back for us. So by Thursday, we'll start to see some clouds to roll in. Friday, looking in the afternoon, starting to see one or two of those showers out towards Midland and Reagan County and towards Crockett County. One or two very light. It's not heavy rainfall. Most people aren't going to be seeing any because by Saturday morning, looking at 2 o'clock, a lot of cloud cover coming in. There's our rain chances quickly, just 6 to 8 and even into 9. It's already starting to die down. Going to be staying more out towards the west and clearing out for the rest of the day, giving us a nice end to the Saturday and a nice weekend. No cool temperatures just yet. We're going to be staying in those upper 70s and low 80s for us. So it's been quiet here in the Concho Valley, but it hasn't been quiet out towards the tropic. Still, Tropical Storm Ada is still sitting in the Gulf, expected to make landfall by Sunday and become a tropical depression. But that is saying there's more out there. We're looking at Tropical Storm Theta. Now, it's not going to be coming near us at all, but I do have to say there is another chance for a tropical disturbance to form. We're looking at the Caribbean out just past here. Going to be seeing that 70% chance for the next couple of days. We'll watch to see if anything does form because most of the past hurricanes have been forming in the Caribbean and moving into the Gulf. So a very active tropical season as opposed to what we're seeing, a very quiet couple of days. We'll hit 76 for tomorrow. 80s coming back on our Thursday. Late Friday and early on Saturday are our rain chances, but not everyone will be seeing those, and they clear out pretty fast on our Saturday. And then we see it's staying warm before we finally start to see a push of some cooler temperatures, and that's going to be Monday and Tuesday with low 70s coming back. But it's going to be a chilly start to your Veterans Day with low 40s. Walking care at